Thanks. Thank you, Doc. We have tonight. Bob Hope, without a doubt, is truly an amazing man. He's a he's unique personality. He has had won every award, had had every honor bestowed on him that is possible to attain. Plus, the United States Congress, I think, awarded him the highest medal that they award to a civilian. And he is, works constantly. Next week, he'll be appearing at the United Cerebral Palsy Dinner in New York City. Then he heads to London to tape a BBC special. And Bob's annual Christmas television show will be seen here on NBC this coming Sunday night, December the 14th at 8 o'clock. It's always probably the highest rated show in the entire year. Would you welcome, please, Mr. Bob Hope. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Piff off. <laughs> Bob, this is a family I, show. I love, we have a I family love show here. I love that. We were we we had a clip, you know, we did in uh, in with Angie Dickinson, and they wouldn't let us do it because there was a line in there about homosexuals. Well, you see, a you, gag, a gag, yeah. and then I saw what you did. Well, you see, we are. You're going right to confession. <laughs> We're going to bring later. Les back. We're on later at night. I know. See. I know we are. No, I was going to bring it on here for you. That's why we, we saved and they it wouldn't for you because it's wouldn't hilarious. Uh, it was hilarious. And somebody took it out. Huh? Are you collecting? Who's up there? Oral Roberts? Are you, <laughs> huh? are you no, collecting funny, all the outtakes from the shows you have oh, all sh stashed away somewhere? Have we? Someday we got to do them for a special. You know, we got about two hours of Just misses and the hits goose. and the, Oh, yeah, the goose. You look wonderful. I feel pretty good. You look pretty good. You're going to London? Going to the BBC? In London for the Christmas show. They got a guy over there, does you, Michael Parkinson. Do you hear? Yeah, well, I know who he is. He does. Only he shows up every once in a while. <laughs> mm. No, he's good. He's great. And I'm going over there and try to. Yeah. Sam. Do you ever It'll go back? Nice. Do you ever go back to your birthplace when you go to yeah. England? London will be, uh, you know, like old times to me. It'll, it'll Christmas at, yeah. with combat. Were you born? Were you born in? Lo were you born in London? Yeah, I was born in London, sure. But I left very early because, you know, I figured that one Engelbert Humperdinck is enough. Don't you think? <laughs> You're going to be working New Year's Eve, right at yeah. this time. New Year's Eve. Which, um, I'm a diplomat hotel. Yeah, that's a different for you, isn't it? Different thing for me, but I'm going to be down there and they ask me to do it. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that. That's a nice hotel. Yeah, it's great. Just great. Hey, get a little money. Yeah. What? <laughs> Dean's warming up, I think. Yeah, right? yeah. He's blowing the foam off of something. I think they got him, they got him on his feet back there. Yeah. <laughs> What happens, you know, New Year's Eve when a crowd gets a little, does that pose any problems? I don't know. I hope that, uh, you know, how can you tell? But uh, I've been, I've had all kinds of audience. I've been in vaudeville, you know, I've played in some of those spots. Doesn't What's I? the worst bomb you ever had in front of an audience? When it was early days in vaudeville where you walked out and nothing went? Well, you know, I told you about playing in Chicago. I played places there around Cicero. If they liked you, they didn't applaud. They just let you live. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have an intermission to give the audience a chance to reload. <laughs> I'm serious. That's tough luck. Tough luck. This was a real tough audience. They used to tie the tomatoes on the end of yo-yos so they could hit you twice. <laughs> <laughs> but we played audiences. You know, we played supper shows when in Oakland and Winnipeg when there were 20 people out there. Those were those were those were some kind of challenge. You know, yeah. you had to go out and ad lib and fool around. When you came off and it didn't go well, did did it bother you? you no, think? no, you get used to that because the next house you got a full house and you go out. You have to, you have to do that. And actually that's where you learn to ad lib. Right. And, uh, do savers, you know. Yes. And I walked out one night in, uh, in Flushing, try, uh, breaking my act in Flushing in the RKO house. I was very nervous. This is when I was first starting. And I walked out to tell my first joke and the leader who had quite a sense of humor went, he indicated my fly was open. <laughs> Well, that's great when you're standing in front of a whole audience, you know. And now it's hard to look down, and he's telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to be funny. <laughs> what do you it think? happened to me in the, the command performance in London, too. We, we finished a command performance there in 47. We were over there. We're all standing, Loretta Young and Alexis Smith. And we're standing there. Here's the queen and the king coming in. And Lawrence, Olivia, and the British stars are on the other side. And just before the Queen gets to me, Olivia went. 
all in my head. <laughs> and I'm wearing tails where well, you're fully exposed, right. you know? <laughs> you may. <laughs> and you have to take a sneak look. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I, Those I, were hot moments. Yeah, I read <laughs> read some places you were um, you're still entertaining, uh, even though uh, thank goodness you, the Vietnam uh, annual trip you don't have to go, which I know you're delighted about. Right. But right. Uh, you've been uh, doing some uh, work for the guys in the hospitals. Yeah, and, uh, we we we, we played, Reed, a, we played a couple Wednesday in Washington. I was there testifying for the USO. You know, I uh, trying to get a federal charter. And you know how close they are to me. I, I, they taught me a lot. They taught me how to spell K-O-Pectate in seven languages. <laughs> I, uh, I felt that they asked me right. to go in there and testify before the subcommittee, which I did. And then we played uh, Bethesda Hospital in the right. afternoon. Then we played Walter Reed that night. We wanted to get back, and the Air Force said, we'll fly you back if you will play Dayton. So we stopped Wright Patterson, did a hospital show. We stopped at Leavenworth and did another hospital show and came into Burbank, you know? That is incredible. And I want to tell you, they're thrilling audiences, you know, because who, whoever thought you'd be in Leavenworth anyway? And we stopped doing a show. And the thrilling part about it is, John, you know that no veteran in this country can walk up to a hospital and say they need anything that we won't take care of them and take care of them for good. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing, and very few people know that, but they take care of our veterans all the way. It's a marvelous thing. That's great that you're still doing that, because people tend to forget after the fighting, you know, the hostilities are over. Yeah. That a lot of guys are still sitting around with nothing to do and a lot yeah, of time right. on their hands. Right, right. Who's on your special coming up? We have Red Fox, and we have oh. Donnie and Marie Osmond, who, by the way, they forgot to mention on, on the, you know, when they announced the show. And then we, we follow, and then we got Angie Dickinson and the All-American football team, right. Associated Press All-American. Right. Some nice little kids. And uh, then we have uh, who else do we have? That's yeah. it. And Mr. Uh, no, we have a lot of great guest stars. You know, yeah. a lot of lot of people walking in. Did you ever play football? Yeah, I played tackle. I was very limber. I could go around my own end, and I did very well. Very... <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> I'm doing my monologue in this audience right here. You know, tonight. I hope they're still awake. <laughs> you right all... after you finish, huh? You're all invited. I am. Good. And well, they're, they're in a good mood tonight. This is that'd a, be great after I get to them. Four hours in there, you know. We'll have to wire the seats again. <laughs> yeah. Pick them up a little. Do we have a little preview of the uh, small little clip? We have a couple of things, don't is we? This, these are not outtakes. These are... Uh, well, they are outtakes. Yeah, they are. Sure, they are. Oh, now, outtakes, if you don't know, these are little things you will not see on the show. I assume. Uh, goofs or something like that. Watch the monitors here in the studio. <laughs> hey, I'm doing this as a favor. <laughs> Good work, men. I'll take it from here. Right. Oh. <laughs> hey, I can't stay too long. I just came to collect the reward. <laughs> okay, creep. Up against the wall. What? Hands behind your back. Yeah. Spread your feet. Yeah. One false move and you'll match the rest of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> You're clean. Yeah. You better try it again, huh? We're gonna get arrested here tonight. Just arrived for you. Tip the mailman who delivered it. I couldn't, sir. The ambulance left too fast. Trump. Trump. He may be with the CIA. I'm not sure. Boy, this is really something. I wonder who sent it. Very well, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when, 
When did you become royalty? Always have been. <laughs> I'm a cousin of the Count of Basie. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. You know, I have royal blood, too. I figured that. You walk like Princess Margaret. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Red break up that easy. No. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the butler was supposed to walk in and say, Your Highness, you know, after we ordered champagne. He came in and says, Yes, Your Majesty. You know? That's not him And Red went... <laughs> <laughs> and what, cracked out. What, what breaks you up? Was there, are there certain people that you find it difficult to work with? I mean, it can... Yeah, I, 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 I laughed off through a sketch with Lee Marvin. Doing I a saw thing. that. Yeah, it was on, it was on our last special. Yeah. You know? yeah. And he came in doing a... A heavy, you know, and he growled in back of me, which I've been doing for a thousand years. But he didn't do it at rehearsal, you know? And he went, oh, 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 something. And I, thought, oh. <laughs> I felt that way that day, and I laughed all through the sketch. It's ridiculous, you know? You feel so like an idiot, but there, there it was. I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, that's funny. We're going to do a commercial here. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. Catholic Joe Sanchez special is coming Sunday night, which is at 8 o'clock. But following you, we have Dean. Is another special. Mac Davis and after him. Mac Davis has one. That's yep. going to be a great Sunday uh, night lineup. So yeah. Dean's will yeah. be on at nine o'clock. And uh, Dean came out of retirement from wherever he hides out <laughs> to be with us tonight. Would you welcome Dean Martin? How you been, Joey? Hello. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're going to start already, huh? No, How I'm not you? starting. How are you? I'm almost through. <laughs> Good to see you. How are all these people getting in your room? <laughs> One thing that there's going to be at least 110 people watching you tonight because I'm going to Frank's house. You know, it's his party. It's his 60th birthday. birthday and uh, we're all going to get in his bed and watch you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that ought to be cozy little group. Yeah, if they aren't watching, I guess the coats will be watching you. Yeah. Something will be watching you. Did you get, did you get Frank something special? <laughs> How did you do out here? I fair, fair, fair. <laughs> I had a big opening. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> Imagine him getting away with that. That was it. Yeah, I know. Uh, at least, you know, New York's got the finest, but uh, <laughs> we've got the uh, sweetest <laughs> out here. That's policemen. Forget it. <laughs> Did you Who's the next one to come out? Did you... Did you... I know you're going to ask me a question, I'm going to ask you a question. Well, you go ahead, Bernie. Did you... Uh... <laughs> Did you get Frank something special for his 60th birthday? Did you yeah. Give him a nice gift. But how do you wrap up glands? <laughs> Just made to, to go, huh? Yeah, glands to go. <laughs> how did it go on, Ed? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. You don't, um... No, I, squ I quit that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, use my coffee. I, to have you. I remember that from eight years ago. I don't remember that. Yeah. You know, at home, this this desk looks bigger. It is bigger at home. <laughs> well, we'll ask Joanne if it is bigger at home. Joanna. 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 There's, a, there's an A on the end of that. <laughs> There was once a, just a Joanne. Yes, that's true. Yeah. There was also a Joan once. Joan! Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, I had so many things I wanted to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> these people look at you every night like this? I mean, people, the crew. Well, we have a, a bigger group coming tonight because you and Bob are here, you see. Normally, nobody stands over there at all. 
<laughs> oh, I thought they were here because Angie was here. Yeah. <laughs> Angie who? Dickinson? No, she's not on tonight. You just saw her. No, that was on... That was on... When the, when the elephant... Oh! <laughs> no, she's, she's not... Uh... We are... She... Oh, we are... I, I, have a, I have a hangnail. I'm sterilizing it. <laughs> anyway... Oh, don't throw it away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's finger licking good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look. Hey, Doc, how's your Severson? <laughs> you don't do many outside shows, do you? I never get that. What? You don't do many shows other than your own television show. I don't see you around. I go to the Megum. Go to the what? The Megum in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. MGM. The, M- the MGM Hotel. MGM. The Megum. <laughs> I go there six times a year. Mm-hmm. Pick up four or five hundred dollars and get out. <laughs> you gamble when you're up there? Me gamble? <laughs> me? I was a croupier for eleven years, and you asked me if I would go up against them tables. Do you know that those tables are not there to be beaten? <laughs> Do you know that? That the percentage will get you? Why don't you stop me when I'm yelling like that? <laughs> You asked how many guys break you up, and you stopped at Lee Marvin. Oh, you do. You're doing pretty good tonight, I'll tell you. That. You're breaking yeah. me. Yeah? You're following me. You're, I love you. Love you for it. Do you? I wish I was following you. I like to follow you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we're going to come back in a minute. Like talk about your special. <laughs> I, have a, I have a special? You're coming up Sunday. This Sunday. Oh, is it? Is they actually put that thing together? <laughs> gonna, I didn't know that. Gonna, <laughs> you said it the best. Everybody says, I didn't know that, or I didn't know that. But you said it the best. I didn't know that. I practice a lot. <laughs> <laughs> See how I set you up? I'm a straight man. <laughs> oh, I thought I was taller. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> We're going to take a short break, but we're coming, we're coming right back. Why am I talking like him? We have returned. Go back. Boy, he's good. Isn't that a fine organization? He, he, he goes out, doesn't he? Josh, yes. He does parties. Doesn't yes, he can. <laughs> You're good, Doc, boy. <laughs> you know, it's so good to sit down. I walked all the way from them curtains. Just, just... That can take a lot out of a man. Can take a lot out of a man. It can. Yeah. You see how far that is? Yeah. Who's on the. <laughs> Who's on. <laughs> Who's... You looking at me? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Who's on your special? The one that's going to be on Sunday, the one they put together. Just a piece of cloth off of one of your. You know, that Italian restaurant wants that jacket back. <laughs> or a tablecloth. And you have your own clothes. It's a shame they don't get something to fit you. You know? <laughs> you don't like it? You want to know why your monologue don't go over? It was a smash tonight. Well, tonight I didn't see it. <laughs> it's because he don't cock his wrist and you keep your eyes off the cue board. <laughs> Cue card. Oh, cue, cue cards. You didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't realize that. How often you do this show? <laughs> Four nights a week. By yourself? No, no. I have other guests like you. You're a guest tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. We're guests. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a bus. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my clothes. I mean, this is this is a no, nice I'm outfit on. if you have a chicken takeout stand. <laughs> Good, and I'm going to use that. That's right. <laughs> Very nice. Who's on your special? Well, there. I heard is, that somewhere uh, before. I thought maybe. 
that uh, the lovely lady that's on the, the house behind the prairie there. <laughs> Michael Landon's on the show. No, Michael Lerner. Lerner. Oh, Michael Lerner. She's on it. No, they think it's Michelle. It's Michael. It's Michael Learned. And she's on the Waltons, isn't she? No, she's on my show. No, I'm not. <laughs> What's the normal show that she's on? The House Behind the Prairie there. It's the House Behind the Prairie. Yeah, with Michael Landon. Oh, I see. Yes. The Waltons. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they live next door. <laughs> you know, you go down and turn left at the fork in the road, and you come to the Waltons, and then you go right See, you're the... swearing again. That's right. Now, Fork in Mike, Michael Lerner. <laughs> <laughs> then you have that uh, Jeanette Engel. George Engel. George Engel. <laughs> and uh, I'm on it. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a horse. You have Dianne Warwick, don't you? You have Dianne Warwick? Yes, sure, she's Warwick beautiful. On the show. We do this all on the beach and on a ranch. You do this outdoors? <laughs> Is that a direct question? That's a direct question. <laughs> what do you mean you do this? You do this on location? Yeah, we went down to the beach. Then we went over... Would you have some swimming to... scenes on the beach? Swim? Swimming scenes at the beach. You don't necessarily have to swim if you go to the beach. <laughs> Why would you go to the beach? To be near the house. <laughs> of course, I didn't look at it that way. What, what did Everybody you... that lives on the beach don't swim, you know. That's true. They have, they have a beach house. They do a lot of other things. Well, what do you mean you have a horse on the show? Do you actually have a horse on the show? Yeah, I ride the horse. It's a big stallion. It's about 16 hands high. How high is that? <laughs> Aren't they supposed to say that? We'll just put the... No. You mean Sicily Major? Well, that's how you... That's how you measure horses. You say it's 15 hands or 16. From where to where? Where do they measure the horse from? The top of the head? Or? From the pool room. Where the hell do you think they are? <laughs> See, we try to educate our audience at the same time. We give them oh, bits from, of information. From the ground that he's standing on. You know, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that. You don't have to no. take this stuff. Where do they stop? When I don't have to take this. No, it's right. That's right. <laughs> we got our Why don't own we go over to Merv show. <laughs> Merv, theme's doing a, he's doing Merv. a wonderful he's doing a wonderful theme show tonight. <laughs> Proctologist of the stars. <laughs> now, you know that Merv asks you a question and he never listens to you. <laughs> Did you know that? He'll say, "How do you feel?" and he'll turn around like that. <laughs> he does. He I says, don't understand that. Do you? Do you? <laughs> How do you feel, Johnny? And he turns away. <laughs> and he's talking to No, that means. Well, uh, I, uh, what did he say? I don't know about you, but I want to get a seat in the patrol car. I, uh... <laughs> Seems like we brought the little house in off the prairie, didn't we? Oh, well, you're terrible if you keep on saying things like that. You still think you have that thing on your head? Well, we have to take a break here because I the... guess I, you're going to bleep the well... laugh, too? No, the... We have to take a break here because the fire department oh. is here to resuscitate. I guess our he told you about the standards and practices. He's <laughs> lying on the floor, hard as a carp. <laughs> so, as soon as we bring him around, why, well, you got to come back more often. <laughs> 